Good morning. We're going to go over how to kinesio tape um, a pregnant belly to unload um, some of the strain on the tissue. So if you have pre-cut strips, you'll notice that the ends are rounded and that's helpful so that it doesn't catch on your clothing. The main thing to know with this tape is that you don't want to touch the sticky part too much. So here I'm going to rip a little portion of it then we'll fold back the paper part of the tape and that allows you to hang on and kind of produce some stretch. Now, in a pregnant belly, there's usually room for a piece or two below the navel because obviously we're a little bit rounder. Um, so what I would suggest is kind of peeling off that end trying to make sure it doesn't curl or press on. I'm just cradling it, touching it as little as possible. You're gonna come across midline, so you're kind of scooping under the round part of the belly. And then I'm rubbing it in just so that the warmth heats up the glue of the tape. And I have no stretch on the end. So for a couple inches there, there's no pull on the tape. Then using the folded part of the paper as your anchor, you're gonna give lots of pull to kind of scoop up and around the belly. And you can come up towards the ribs. And then as you get to the end, again, we want no, mm -hmm. um, stretch on the end. So there's lots of stretch kind of through this middle portion, but then there's no stretch on the end there. And then you'll just want to be cautious, like anytime you're, if you have a bra on or you have pants, you always kind of want to lift over it, not like roll it too much. So we've anchored at the bottom, we've done a big upward pull, and then we've anchored on the end. Now you have a choice for the second piece. So for this one, you could have another one. Because we talked about how um, the pregnant belly, you're going to have a lot more space below the belly button. So again, you would anchor and then you would just pull up the other way. Sometimes we also like to have it above. The skin around the navel, the belly button tends to be thinner in pregnancy and more sensitive. So I would never put tape over the belly button itself because when you take it off, it's not going to feel great. My preference is usually to do two below the belly button. So it feels like you have an upward pull on both sides. And then if you have an area of the abdominals that feels a little more, more vulnerable or you're having that kind of pain in the side abdominal wall, what you could do is take one of your strips, cut it in half, and round the edges. So I've got my scissors, I'm rounding the edges. Again, that's just so it doesn't catch on my clothing. We learned that we can rip in the middle of that to create two handles with the paper. And then you can use that littler piece, lots of stretch, so make sure you have a good grip on it. Lots of stretch through the midline over whichever area, so somewhere above the navel, wherever that abdominal pain is. I'll stick my belly out a little bit to be a little more pregnant. Um, and then again, no tension on the ends. So now it's almost like you just feel like you have a little bit of connective tissue or a layer. So we've got one going up each side and then we've got lots of tension and anchored through the middle. Now this tape you can get wet so you can shower with it. Sometimes our skin is more sensitive in pregnancy so if it starts to feel itchy, burny, anything like that, listen to how your body's feeling and take it off. After it's been on, sometimes it'll stay on for a day and then sometimes it'll stay on for a few days. And I think it just depends how much we're doing, how it's anchored, things like that. When you go to take it off, you can kind of peel the end, put lots of pressure down through a finger. So I'm kind of pressing into my skin as I take it off and then it doesn't hurt as much. If you're allergic to band-aids or something like that, that would make you more likely to be sensitive to the kinesio tape. Sometimes it's nice to let your skin breathe for a little bit. So say you have your tape on and then you go to rest for the night, you might take it off and just kind of let 
let the skin breathe and then put some on the next day. If you have any questions, just let me know.